My name is John Moriello. I'm a freelance industrial designer and an adjunct professor at California College of the Arts. And today we're going to be looking at the Carbon M2 3D printer. So I'm not going to go into how the technology specifically works in this video, but basically Carbon utilizes a technology that's 25 to 100 times faster than other 3D printers and it's significantly higher resolution and the tolerances are better than any other form of 3D printing on the market right now. Now without a doubt, engineering decisions probably drove most of the general proportions and several details of the design. With that said, Carbon still made an effort to design the object to have an intuitive user experience and a design that really stands out. To start, let's think of a few words that might be associated with this design. The three words I think of when I look at the design of the Carbon M2 are monolithic, exhibition, and industrial. By looking at the silhouette, it's pretty clear that it's basically just a block. Uh, because this design has no real breaks in the form and it's essentially a block, it makes the design feel really sturdy, reliable, and monolithic. If they had added some kind of detail to break up the form, it may have really changed the imposing presence that the object has. It also may have negatively impacted the perception of stability and reliability of the product. Carbon made a good decision to make this look like a monolithic block. This is a very expensive piece of equipment and it should look solid as a result of that. Taking a step back, we can see that there's a strong contrast of black and white. This creates a clear separation between the inside of the device and the outside. When we start to get a closer look, we can see the obvious exhibit-like nature of the top half of the design. Carbon's intent was to glorify their technology. By making the interior matte black, it diverts attention from the inside of the device and instead turns the focus towards whatever is being printed inside. By having harsh top lit light, it also adds to the drama of the 3D printer when it's in action. It's almost like a little stage and the part that's being printed is the star of the show. Whether this was purely engineering driven or not, there's also a nice two third and one third split between the two sections of the device. This gives the design a clear hierarchy. If they had made these two pieces roughly the same size, your eye wouldn't know where to look first. This also helps to balance out the design from looking too heavy and industrial. Carbon also chose to round out the corners in order to make the design feel just a little bit more refined and approachable. If they had gone with more sharp corners, the design might have felt too unfinished and overly utilitarian, like a lot of current industrial 3D printers and laser cutters on the market right now. Most of the details are what make the design seem more industrial. The feet at the bottom look to be off-the-shelf parts, as does the red emergency button. While the design should feel like a professional piece of equipment that is meant for production applications, it may have been good to design these things with more consideration. If lower order quantities are a problem for injection molded parts, it may even be good to 3D print them using the carbon technology. There would be no better way to advertise belief in your technology than to actually use it on your own machines. Overall, Carbon has done a great job on their industrial design. The Carbon M2 feels monolithic, it proudly exhibits its technology, and it feels like it's capable of creating industrial production ready parts. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.